Um, so all right, so listen, we're gonna we're gonna continue on now. I'm gonna kind of continue into the, the whole sports thing, right? So Harrison, what we do on the show, we like to we like to we like to celebrate the classic hip hop show, hip hop movies, anything, um, anything that that's hip hop related, or you know, I may have a hip hop star in it, right? So I was just going through my my page, going through my Instagram, and I was somebody had posted this movie. <laughs> Greatest movie soundtrack of all time. Yo, that's my favorite. Yes. Greatest movie soundtrack of all time. Hey, Not even up for hands the down. Yo, hands all down. Good. For sure. Movie. Yo, that soundtrack was crazy. And it's in my yes. top like 10 movies. Like 10 movies, but like top five black movies. Subscribe for the very latest. Play it, daddy. They understand it to a certain extent. As long as it's making money. As long as it's controversial and it's making money. As soon as you start like having some kind of principles or honor, oh, oh, oh. Hold it down now, buddy. Above the Rim is a movie about basketball in the high school gym and on the street. And Tupac's character, Birdie, is the local gangster who'd rather run the show than run the floor. To Tupac's thinking, this is smart casting. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. So, above the rim. Mm -hmm. Above the rim, I'm gonna tell y'all some. Well, something crazy like the director, the, the person who wrote the screenplay, right? He had in the industry, he had these scripts known as the Harlem trilogy. Mm. That's Above the Rim, New Jack City, and Sugar Hill. <laughs> he screen he wrote all the screenplays for those. That oh, they dope. called it they called it the Harlem trilogy. And basically he, he was trying to do is show different sides of Harlem in that time period. Right? So you got the sports, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and it really cause really the really above the rim for me is nothing but a play off the rucker. You know what I'm saying? How the rucker was back back in back at that time. Um, obviously you had the, you had the drugs with um, you know New Jack City and just kind of like the relationships of of you know parents father son you know like that the whole black family that's that's Sugar Hill you know what I mean so that's that's what it's called uh, th those are the Harlem the Harlem tr uh, trilogy um, which I think what what, what are y'all thoughts I, I know y'all said this is your, your favorite movie Harrison what what, what are y'all thoughts about about Above the Rim. I think um, other than the first part where uh, Nuts so stupidly jumped off a building, which is uh, simple to me. <laughs> Call myself, I ain't gonna get y'all show banned for the R word, <laughs> but it's stupid to me. Other than that, I thought it played out really good. I thought, um, like I said, I mean, at that time, that's when I feel like music really drove a movie and i feel like the score for that movie really put everything in perspective i feel like everything was played at a good time i think you remember when um i think what was his name uh the main part was it kevin or something like that uh, Kylon, Kylon. i think it's something like that Kylon. Kyle. 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 Yeah, 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 you making stuff up but yeah, uh, nah, uh <laughs> <it was Kyle. laughs> kwame um but no nah, it was kyle <laughs> uh when they was up there playing h-town uh that mm. one score um pain which you can never find that mm. tupac song is on exactly there. you cannot um, oh it's kyle never. it's kyle lee it's kyle lee my bad kyle yeah lee. so it's i feel like uh, with the whole thing i think it transitions and everything smooth with it i think it the music really puts you into a scene of like that time period because that's mm. where music and stuff was at and i yeah. felt like up, other than the fact that they was using the same people to throw themselves alley oops, I think that you know every uh, <laughs> right, in the last right, one, right. Um, <laughs> I thought it was really good from the standpoint of I'm assuming that's how New York people are. You know, um, I thought Leon was a little too over dramatic. That was probably it. You know, um, he was just he was. crying the whole time and he was. you was about to take a bus to leave, but then you get it together in like the last five minutes. But I mean, overall, like I said, it's one of my top movies for a reason. Pain, pain was only on the ca cassette. It was only on the for cassette. For some reason, yeah. For some reason, pain was only 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 on the cassette. 
and um, wow. and then but but they didn't put pain now the crazy part about the soundtrack we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get to y'all in a minute but the, the soundtrack was a death row soundtrack before pop yeah. got on death row yeah you know what i'm saying no so uh, yeah but uh walt what, what, what's your thoughts on, on uh, above the rim yeah it's my it's like my favorite sports movie it's my favorite it's one of my favorite movies because of the cast i do it's like growing up watching it and like when i watch it now i do agree like some of it some of the writing is a little broken but i do think overall like when i look at the cast like that they had when you had leon you had wood harris you had pop you had um what is what is kyle's real name uh uh dwayne martin dwayne martin like you had a, a real dope cast you had what's his name uh dwayne marlon wayne's in it too Marlon yeah. Wayne, Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like and watching it as a scrub, yeah. like the basketball in the movie. I really liked the 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 basketball that was being played, like in the movie. Like the the scenes, mm-hmm. the basketball scenes in the movie. So Dwayne Martin was in the pros, I think, at the time, right? Or he just like got cut from the pros or something. My son was he on the was... Knicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tried for the Knicks. I think he I think he actually made it. Well, I think he played like what, like two, three games or something like that. And then, eight, eight. And then that, Quick uh, fun fact: Alan Payne was picked for that role first. Oh really? Oh wow. yeah. Best Alan Payne decision, was picked for the best role. Decision ever not to pick him. Yeah, he was Damn. picked for that role, and then they and then the ra- the other writer. So you um the other writer said, "Nah, we we gonna put Dwayne Martin." I got my, I got my thoughts on why they put Dwayne Martin in there, but you know I just leave it the fact that he was a basketball player, and we'll move on. Uh, but go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. Oh no! Nah. Yeah, um, I just I thought the movie was dope. Uh, it's always I can watch it anytime, anytime. One of my favorite movies. Chuck, what you what, what's your thoughts on Above the Rim, man? You know what? Um, it's a dope cult classic. You know, what I'm saying the soundtrack was nice. It was definitely top tier. Uh, <laughs> There's a couple of scenes. I'm like, this is kind of wild. He's out there. They playing the basketball game by himself. I'm like, yo, this is intense. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that was a, yeah, it was, it was a, you know, that was a lot going on there. But, um, but yeah, if it comes on, I, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely watch. I think it, it got loaded to Netflix like a, a couple months ago. So I'll be, mm. you know, I'll run it back a couple of times. Um, but I think it was either Walt or Harrison was saying like, so this is like sport, for us, like sports movie. This in y'all top five? Oh, he, he, it's number one. No, actually, remember the Titans, Coach Carter, okay. and then like above the rim. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a one A B. Remember the Titans probably number one. I had seen that movie like a million times. I don't know why, but mm. uh, yeah, I want to say I'm trying to think what's the other sports movie. One so and jump. Uh, I mean, that's not a bad. Okay, the reason I asked that question is yeah. it's like it's one eighty three without sidetracking it. The thing about it, but it's it's up there for it's like one A B. Like I can go either one. They can be number my number one. You know, it's crazy because like when I think of above the rim, I don't. It's like a cultural film that happened to have basketball integrated in it. Like, I don't think of it as a traditional sports movie. Yeah, and I, I just kind of just like just how I picture because when I think of like sports movie, like yeah, remember the Titans or like my favorites, any given Sunday, that's gonna be mm-hmm. number three. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I, mean, I never. I don't mean to yeah. cut you off, but like, so what do y'all think of he got game as far as like is that a basketball movie or do you garbage that same? Like- <laughs> <Nah, here> we <laughs> go. <laughs> wow. Hey, we gonna shoot. We gonna be shooting all night, Harrison. That what we do? <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. Harrison's a shooter, man. I, you know. I see that. Nigga. I see that. <laughs> you know, if we, we was if we was in the wild west, he's just out there just shooting niggas for no reason. Nah, if we really <laughs> sit back there. Now, nah, out of all the movies we just sat there and said, if we really was a thing about he got game in comparison to all three of the movie or four of them any given Sunday at that Ray Allen was terrible his girlfriend cheated on him 
Uh, he had that one uncle that was trash. His family members that he stayed with, they was using him. Your daddy go to jail. You treat him like crap. Then he picked the school. Daddy don't even get out of jail. Then he throw a ball that magically come into the gym. Like, come on now. No. It was. Yeah. I mean, was I, then, he like, didn't even play no, then he didn't even play no basketball. The whole movie. Yo. I'm not really a big fan. Though. I'm not really a big fan. <laughs> That's at fan the end of the damn game. movie. I mean, only part I like is when when the white girls, with you know, that's that's beside the hey. That, that, hey, I'm just saying. That's my favorite part. Uh, wow, yeah, that was my favorite oh, part. Shit. Hey, let's go hey. again. Yeah, yeah, that, that was my favorite wow. part right hey. there. Listen, um, I ain't mad at you. So above the rim, like 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 Harrison said, one of the best, one of the best soundtracks of all time. Classic. You down, got down, you down. got SW re, the, the remix of SW uh, mm. of V. Anything on, is on there. Was uh, the regulators on that soundtrack too? Regulators is on there. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Well, regulate, regulate, uh, regulate. You got oh, part of little liquor was on there. Yeah, I remember that too. Quite a little yeah, liquor, that. part-time lover. Oh yeah, uh, regulate. Oh, Afro Puffs. Afro Puffs. Afro Puffs um, is on there. What's Aaron Hall song on there too? Who? Uh, Aaron Hall. Who was that? John nah. Oh, they finally, they finally added the pain song to. The, I'm gonna download it now. Continue. My oh, it's on. Yeah, it's on yeah, title. Now, yeah. now the, the the crazy part Apple about music. that because it was so many at that time. You know, back then it was promotional tapes and all of that. You know, like you, mm-hmm. you put out promotional tapes for the for the movie. So it was. I, I don't know. It seemed like it was a mix up because on some of the promotional tapes you had some Apoc stuff on there, and then. They put out another promotional tape that did not have Pac stuff on there, so it was I don't know, man. It was a lot going on, like going on with that with that soundtrack even back then. Uh, but one, but definitely still one of the the greatest uh, soundtracks uh, of all time, man. Um, Off the top of your head, you can think of a better one. Better soundtrack. Just in general. Mm-hmm. Soundtrack or movie? Soundtrack. 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 Cool. Soundtrack. Cool. Closest one would be probably Soul Food or um, it was oh uh Boomerang got a good soundtrack to it and um uh hip hop really, the show yeah I, too set it off the maybe show. but I hated the, the set it off cool. movie so that's. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we just talking about setting it off. <laughs> you? Oh yeah, now we just, we, yeah, we just. Oh, we just, just I, 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 I just, I'm a, I'm a, I call it turn it off because that's all I do. <laughs> I just turn it off. You don't like it? You don't think it's good? You don't think it's good? Garbage. It's, I feel like no. for black women, I feel like for black women, y'all need better. We had dead presidents, Ocean's Eleven. Like I'm not. I, Ocean's Eleven, I'm just saying this is the best y'all can do when y'all finally take the reins and rob a bank. Like, come on now! Hey, like, nah. Nah, y'all, all y'all head. die. Jada selling ass. Hey. Jada selling ass at the beginning of the movie. Hey, like, come on! You got fired for something. Yeah. 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 All you made time, away. And all you made away was like two thousand dollars. Like, it, at this point, I thought she made. I thought she made more. She made. Nah, she. Nah, she, nah, she ain't had that much money, man. Nah, she. Ain't she. Did she, 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 she pay for she, what's the name's uh, contract or whatever uh, for him to get? I don't know. She. She went to Honduras. I think he died anyway. No, that was a uh, other girl. Somebody died. I just know she went to Honduras for like dollar forty. Shut I'm, still mad. No. I'm mad that she. I'm mad that she survived. Right now, I'm mad that she survived. In that movie. Just saying. The movie was. I mean, I, I, I mean, think nah, the movie I'm, was good though. I don't, I don't know like about that. I, I like. I like. I like setup. Setup was dope, man. <laughs> We got turn it off. Turn it off. Set up was dope. Right. Turn it, turn it off. <laughs> There's a lot of reviews right now. I'm like, God. Hey, you know what I'm surprised about though? As far as like above the rim, because you know in the past, like like he said, we talked about set it off. We talked. We even talked about um, we talked about hustle and flow. Um, classic. That one. And that we, hey, hey, Harris, we talked about. I, I was telling them one. like, it, there's an argument. Tennessee it, in the building. Classic. It was. It's an argument to say that UCJ. And DJ Paul is the greatest producer duo ever. What's the argument? 
You, some people won't say that though. That's what I'm saying. Some people not going. But we, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna do route too much. Some people, say, some people put sugar and grits. I mean, we can't always just some people got <laughs> no, 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 we don't do that. Yet. Nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. saying some, some people do weird things. I'm just saying, like it's. But, but when you want an Oscar, you can't. It is no debate. I, I, that's all I say. But hey, fun Oscar fact. does not make uh, it. Oscar does not make it to where you are just simply the greatest because of that. And hey, you can say that if you want to. But with, with, with the with the catalog, with the catalog that they have, I would give them that catalog. Oscar, but but the Oscar you can no, throw that out the bat. You can throw it out the window. It doesn't nah, mean anything. It's nah, uh, nah, Oscar's nah, nah, right. Listen, listen, but no, but trim, listen, Oscar trim, when, trim, Oscar, they, they give Oscars to people when they they feel like it. It's not always trim, to who they what they, do, they deserve it. Now listen, that trim. year they deserved it, but if because they got win, an Oscar, because they got an Oscar does not solidify trim, them to where they want an Oscar. Oscar. They if are the want, great. They are you top want Oscar, because of the work they put in. Not if because you they have want an Oscar, Oscar I you win it around your neck. I win it around your neck. Less, I could care less. I don't care. So listen, man, Oscar. Angela Bassett did get robbed, so that's the only reason I'm gonna say that for a supporting well, nah. cast member. Exactly. So wait, so when Halle Berry won it, didn't Halle Berry get an Oscar? Halle Berry got it for fucking I, a white man. Okay, that's so not Halle Berry got it. So Oscar she, but, does not mean nothing. It doesn't mean but, anything. Listen, it's, it's, and hip hop it does. Her, it, it, her as far as hip hop is gonna take garbage. Me. That means all them Grammys. It means something too, whether they win it or not. They're a piece of junk metal garbage. That's all it is. So it doesn't matter if they get an award or not. That's not what makes them great. They're, what makes them great is what the work they put in. The catalog. That's what stands for it. They give Listen. they give awards to whoever just because of who they feel like deserves it. It does not mean that they deserve all of that stuff. So Listen. it's a hot piece of garbage. I agree with you about awards, right? I, I agree with you about awards, right? I agree with you. I'm not saying I'm not saying that, right? I, I agree with you about awards. But if you are a hip hop artist. That wins an Oscar for your craft, for for for, a, for producing, right? That is that is a trump card. We playing spades. That's and you throw, and you and you. That's the big. It's crazy joker, you feel bro. that way. It's crazy you feel that way when it's about two people from Tennessee. But I didn't see you standing up when we was trying to get Angela her Oscar. I just find it ironic. What are you talking? I'm just about? Ta- I'm talking to I'm talking to Trim. I'm just saying. Oh. I just now all of a sudden you got this rant about the Oscars. We talking about two people from Tennessee, but all of a sudden it don't mean nothing. But Angela Bassett did it. I ain't I see you taking a stage and Angela uh, Bassett. You know. been, she's been deserved it, but they never say still. They still never. We wasn't talking her. about her. We was talking about two people from. But, but Harris, two, two people from Tennessee. Harris, let me explain something to you. Let me, let me let me let me say, you know, let me say something about Trevor. He, he, he wants to put. He wants to say that they're the greatest of all time because they got an Oscar. No, no, they put work I'm not in saying that. They just they earned it. I'm not saying that. But just because they got an Oscar doesn't mean doesn't mean. I'm not saying that. I'm I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if you are a, especially from coming with from where, where three six mafia comes from, right? If they were, if, if there's nobody in the industry that can say producer wise besides Eminem, but I'm talking about three six mafia. This is three six okay. mafia. If they if we're in a room and we're having a conversation amongst producers and they running down all the accolades. And I'm like, yo, you know what? That's cool, but guess what? I got an Oscar. That's that that to, that that the in the producer community, you can say what you want. In the producer community, they're gonna be like, oh nah, you got that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like to have to have to be three six mafia, one of the one of the one one of the first of all, I mean one of the best producers. But on top of that, their their sound never changed. They didn't have to go and change their sound. Or do anything out of the pocket and still want to grab me. I mean, Oscar. That's all I'm saying. But but you know what? I'll end it here because then I'm about to get into the fact that we had this conversation about awards and you was bigging up awards a long time ago and you were saying how they were the greatest. But that's another story. We ain't gonna go there, bro. We ain't gonna go there. But <laughs> all right, but I agree. The, the cool the cool thing about above the rim. Cause we have mentioned about them other wars. They had a, they had a bigger budget. Even, I'm not gonna say it's cool, but they had a bigger budget. Most most of, bro, bro, do you know that Hustle and Flow only had what, had a two million dollar budget? It seemed like they only paid Terrence Howard twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars, exactly. <laughs> Which he's suing right now for. <laughs> right, but um, you know they had a six million dollar budget. 
You know what I'm saying? They made sixteen million dollars uh, in the box office with that one. And, and, but but you know, even back then though, they weren't dropping black movies like that every year anyway. It was they they probably came out like once a year. Black movies they they weren't making that many black movies back then. They were just making maybe like two a year or something like that. But you know that that I'm surprised that they had a bigger budget than Hustle and Flow. But yeah, shout out to shout out to um, shout out to uh, Tupac. Obviously, that's a piece. Tupac, uh, Dwayne Martin, everybody who was in this movie because it froze it froze that time period of of you know the '90s. You know, certain like certain movies freeze time. You know, like you can look at it and be like, oh man, like this is what this is what it was. Like when Pac pulled that raise out of his mouth, I said, oh man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that was that was New York all day. I, I don't know how people did that walking around with, with, with razor blades in their mouth. That was wild. But yeah, um, that was that was a that was a everyday thing. People had razor blades in their mouth all day. Uh, but yeah, Bernie Mac in there too. Bernie, like I'm saying, Bernie Mac did his thing in that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it it kind of showed that? his range. Yeah. What you say? Yeah, what was the dude? Uh, something Wood, where Paul. Um, oh, Wood, yeah. Wood, Wood Harris. Wood Harris. Yeah, the one who was uh, he was shooting up the court. I said it doesn't came out there. Murtaugh. Yeah, trying yeah. Trying to yeah, still yeah. get that costume for Halloween. <laughs> That'd be dope. That'd hey. be a dope one. Yeah, but yo, fact. but but yeah, man. But I I, I feel like and, and you know with this show we we want to educate people. We don't want people to forget about these movies. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah. You know the movies and the soundtrack, like like Harrison was saying, they 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 will hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? At at one point, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was like you they you had to have a good soundtrack with the movie. If if you were in hip hop, like it, you just couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying you know black people, we we we, we love music. If, if the soundtrack is whack, you know what I'm saying they. It may not it may not be hitting like that, but you know. But shout out to anybody who who uh was in that. That classic gym. Uh, Cause when, hey, listen, when 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 above the rim come on, I'm definitely stopping everything I'm doing and watching that. You know what I'm saying?